Folks, if you can just look up to me, please. And you, and again. To the end, Margaret MacDonald was a committed campaigner for Scottish independence. And today, that lifelong political effort drew praise. Over the last 40 years, she's been at the centre of all the political developments of Scotland, very much part and uh, one of the great driving forces behind Scotland's home rule journey. So she'd been hugely missed. Uh, she had a spectacular political career, but she will be greatly missed, so, so close in particular to the, the referendum in September. Deeply serious, occasionally coquettish, a political partisan who chafed within party constraints, but above all, charismatic, hugely popular. So the SNP, in fact, have won the constituency of Govan. They had indeed. In 1973, Margaret MacDonald won Glasgow Govan in a by-election. I'm the MP for Govan. Can we get that straight first of all? Govan got it, Scotland got it, but she was to spend just 112 days in that role, ousted at the general election. Feisty and energetic, she was the SNP's deputy leader during the nationalist honeymoon of the 1970s. But political divorce followed. She quit the party in the internal conflict, which followed defeat in 1979. She built new careers in the voluntary sector and as a respected broadcaster. Welcome back, Margot. In 1999, the rebirth of the Scottish Parliament brought her back to frontline politics. Scotland seemed happy to see her, and today her passing was mourned. While we disagreed profoundly on the question of the Constitution, actually most of what motivated Margot seemed to be something that motivates most politicians, a desire to make a difference, to see a world where children can achieve their full potential, where people are, feel safe in their old age. In 2003, she quit the SNP again and triumphed as a party of one. More lately, a new and controversial cause, backing assisted suicide for the terminally ill, facing intolerable strain. And of course, it was personal, as she coped with a degenerative disease. I don't want to burden any doctor. I don't want to burden any friend or family member. I want to find a way in which I can take the decision to end my life in case... I'm unlucky enough to have the worst form of Parkinson's near the end of life. That rare being, a politician known to the public simply by her first name. Intelligent, driven, witty, passionate. Just Margot.